welcome back to the channel and in this video we'll be talking about modifiers as of right now i am wearing blasted modifier on two of my three pieces here and i'm wearing superheated boots and let me tell you these look fantastic for just making your avatar look great as well as they give really good stats from the start of the video, I'll be actually going over how to get the modifiers first, and so, let's begin. To get modifiers, there are many different ways to get them. The main way to get them, or the only way to get them, or most of them, is by using treasure charts. I got a legendary treasure chart, and I, this one is, the first one is at a blasted rock. So, let's do the blasted rock thing. Let's do the blasted rock treasure chart. And I'll be using two of the shovels. I'll be using Gold Sight, and I'll be using Fortune. The reason you want to you want to use both, and I'll get to that why. But these two enchants, they're very very good. So make sure to try to get them. You get them from doing treasure charts. So basically, like you to get them, you need to do treasure charts, and then you unlock them, and then you use them, and you can use them on future treasure charts, and you get more loot like that. So let's just begin. You guys can see that whenever I use my gold side shovel, what it does is that it clears an entire area. Like it shows you what areas you have cleared. Once you have dug in this single, like if the whole thing is yellow, you don't have to dig in it again. You only have to dig in ones that are not yellow. And that is, it makes finding treasure way more easier like it makes it so much more easier and i've already cleared this this exact spot let's go over here it's probably over here uh, let me use the fortune shovel the fortune shovel basically what it does is any treasure that you dig up using the fortune shovel will have a chance of being a higher tier than it, what it was supposed to be. So if I were to dig up normal treasure, like a normal uh, normal chest, treasure chest, it would become silver. But if I were to, let's say, dig up silver treasure, it will become gold. It has a chance of doing it. It's not exactly guaranteed. But you want to use this after you've found where the location of the treasure is. This way you will have a higher chance of getting golden chests or silver chests and overall you'll just get more loot. Silver chest gives you two items, like guaranteed two items. Gold chest gives you guaranteed three items. And normal chests, they don't have a guarantee of items, but they do give you one item or some other things. We can dig here. Ah, here it is. Yep. As you can see, it you can basically, it like... The treasure spawns on a specific part of the island and you can see each part specifically using a gold side shovel. So you don't have to dig like the entire place again. You just, you just go to a different spot that you haven't dug and then you just keep digging until you find it. Makes doing these treasure charts so much faster. Now watch, I'm going to dig all of the things first and then you'll see what items I will get. There we go. Now, if I, if I open this golden chest, as you can see, I got a sandy nimble black fancy suit and superheated rouge white banded fedora. These are new modifiers. They're the same modifier as an Atlantean essence. You can only have one modifier. And those are applied to the items. Let's open this. Nothing. Treasure chest, nothing. Silver chest, also nothing. And we got a sealed chest. So now let's see what did we get from that chart. So if I set it by default, go to all and then go all the way down, as you can see, I got the sandy nimble black fancy suit, which doesn't say any stats right now, but then this one is a superheated rouge white man fedora. It gives two insanity and five agility. Now you're asking, what does superheated give or what does sandy give? Superheated, if you look over here. Superheated at level 120 will give 3 power and 9 intensity. That's the modifier that's applied to this superheated steel boots. You cannot apply Atlantean Essence to it 
no matter what you do. So if I go to apply an Atlantean Essence, if I go to this, go all the way down, just like so, as you can see, it is nowhere to be found. The modifiers, they cannot stack, so you will not see any modifier items when you go to apply Atlantean Essence at all. And as you can see here, I'm using full Atlantic. I'm using um, a lot of the new items, like the thing items, they look super good. I'm looking for blasted boots, any type of boots, and I'm using, looking for blasted pirate captain chest. That's the thing I need the most. But other than that, it looks really good. And as you can see, blasted gives six power to any item. Over here, 100, so 5 power, and here, 80, also a bit of power. But that's what Blast gives. So, I'm going to be doing this treasure chart, and in the meantime, while you guys watch me do the treasure chart, I'm going to explain what do each stats give, and how to get each one. So, I'll go over this uh, color-codedly. Basically, we'll be starting with Blasted. Blasted can be found at Accursia's Keep and Accursia's Keep only. And the only way to get it is through the treasure charts at Accursia's Keep. There's an 80% chance of your items to be blasted every time you open any type of chest in Accursia's Keep. And blasted gives 6 power on an item that is level 120. So that means on each le 10 levels it gives around 0. Point something, I can't remember exactly. Let me just do the math, which is so 6 divided by 12. So it gives, yeah, 0 0.5 power every 10 levels. Meaning at level 100, it will give 5 power. At level 120, it will give 6 power. And it's pretty good. It's actually one of the best modifiers in the game. And you can get that on sorcerer sets. You can get that on the defense sets, like the titanium, steel, deluxe, deluxe steel armor. Or, I mean, not steel. A deluxe iron armor or steel armor or titanium armor all of them have the same exact defense stats and if you get them on any of them or also the centurion chest piece or just centurion helmet any of them they all have the same defense and you can get the power and give them six power in modifiers from blasted so blasted is one of the best modifiers in the game again you cannot apply atlantic to it so it's basically kind of like half of an Atlantean essence at the same time it doesn't give uh, insanity so it's just really good so that, that's for blasted next up we have superheated superheated actually got nerfed within the last update it used to give six power and 18 intensity but now it gives three power and nine intensity so it's basically halved from last time and it's kind of like having charged enchant but a tier 1 version of it so the way I'm talking about tier 1 and tier 2 enchants is tier 2 enchants are double of a tier 1 enchant a tier 1 enchant gives 6 power a tier 2 enchant gives 12 power so this one is a tier 1 enchant however it's halved to give two different stats which is intensity 9 intensity and power, 3 power. And same goes for, let's like, say, the charge enchant. That one gives 6 power and 18 intensity. It actually gives 7 power for charged, but I think that's just a rounding issue. I'll, I may be a bug. But yeah, that's what, in, that's what uh, superheated gives. And you can get superheated from warm islands. Places like Ravenna, Blasted Rock sandfall isle these three places you are have have a high chance of getting superheated and a higher chance in blasted rock because blasted rock is all sand and it has a chance of giving superheated so that means you have a 50 50 chance of getting sandy or superheated from blasted rock that's why blasted rock is also pretty good and Ravenna, because it's almost, it's sometimes it's sandy, sometimes it's, it's ground, you have a higher chance of getting things like crystalline, archaic, or other things because you're digging the ground. The ground has a much larger modifier pool, so that's why like it's rare to get it in Ravenna and such. 
So we want to try to get Sandfall Isle charts as well as Blasted Rock charts to get superheated. The next one on the color is Sandy. Sandy gives 9 intensity. No, it gives 18 intensity. I'm dumb. Sandy gives 18 intensity and can only be found from sandy grounds. So it can only be found in Blasted Rock, can only be found in Sandfall Isle, it can be found in a Limestone Key, and it can be found in Ravenna as well, if you have to dig in the ground. It also can be found, I believe, in the thing, what do you call it? Basically just any place that has sand and if you have to dig in the sand you have a chance of getting sandy from it and it's not that useful but it could be depending on what build you use if you need intensity and intensity now also helps fighting styles such as thermal fist as well as sailor fist it helps keep the heat and the water meter up because it makes the heat and water meter larger so that you can store more heat and or water in your meters and you can basically use like use more heat or more water for longer periods of time which is pretty cool after that we have archaic archaic is green and it gives attack size specifically 18 attack size when on an item Forgot to mention, uh, you can it can only be found in the ground in any island, cannot be found in snow or sand. So that's the way you get archaic if you need it. After archaic, we have drowned. Drowned is pretty interesting. Drowned gives around 27 defense and 9 attack size. It has been nerfed from 54 defense and 18 attack size the same similar in a similar fashion as superheated because it was a bit too OP. So now it's fair as a tier 1 enchant but it gives two hybrid stats and it's an interesting way to get it. You can only get it from either fishing, I think. I think you can get it from fishing. You can get it from underwater ruined chests and you can get it from just generally any underwater chest even on islands, there's some islands that have underwater chests, as well as you can get it from lost cargo that you find on the water. It has a higher chance to be drowned on those cargo pieces, but I'm not entirely sure. And it is a 20% chance to get drowned items from the underwater chests. And I'm not sure entirely sure like what chance it is from fishing. I don't even know. I don't even know if it's possible for me to get from fishing. But it's pretty interesting on how to get drowned and you cannot usually get it from treasure charts ex but there is an exception swamp places or swamp islands that have a lot of water or swamp biome islands can give ground for example forest of chernuno is a swamp and so from a swamp you can in fact get drowned items which is pretty cool that the, f the effectiveness of like the biome of the island does affect what modifiers you get on the item. So that if, if you want to farm ground items, you can use that. Then of course for the next color, you have Atlantean Essence or the Atlantean modifier. Atlantean modifier gives you, I have a whole video on it, you can go watch that. It's pretty complicated, but I, I'll just explain it briefly. Basically, Atlantic Modifier can give 12 power, 107 defense, and 36 of each stat. It goes by like 36 uh, attack size, 36 attack speed, 36 agility, and then 36 intensity. And it gives 1 insanity no matter which stat it gives. And the way it works is that if let's say the item has power the, 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 the item has power in any shape or form it will give defense if the item has power and defense it will give attack size if the power has uh, power defense and attack size it will give attack speed and the same thing for everything else if the item has all the six stats power defense attack size 
attack speed, agility, intensity, then it will give power again. Like it'll go or loop around and give power. And I explained it all in my video, like my Atlantian Essence video, as well as uh, the way it works. And there's a recent change where it is now also affected by enchants. So basically, any stat that the item has, it will Atlantian Essence will now be affected by it. So in the, in that old video, it's that that is basically outdated now. In that video, it was only affected by the base item stats as well as the gems or what gems it had. And then you can have like stacking defense uh, enchants as well as the modifier. That doesn't work anymore. You now have to make sure that you you prioritize uh, the Atlantean Ascent stat specifically to that. As well as it Atlantean Essence can get cleared or you cannot use it on things that have warding. Or you can also clear the modifier if you use a virtuous enchant on the item. So that's how Atlantean modifier works. You can get it. You can get Atlantean essence to apply it to any item, like even boss items. And you can also get the items themselves from the Dark Sea. I have like three videos on like farming the Dark Sea and stuff like that. So you can watch that. And that's how the Atlantean modifier works now. Crystallized. Crystallized can. I mean, no. It gives. 18 attack speed to any item and it can be found on the ground only at basically any island it can only be found on the ground not in sand and not in snow and it's completely random to get it and yeah that's that's it for crystallize basically it's pretty simple and it has a pink look to it finally we have frozen Frozen, fro <laughs> whatever, I'm not going to do that. Frozen basically gives 57, 57, no, 53, 53, yeah. It gives 53 defense on an item and it can be only found on chilly or cold biomes such as White Summit and what do you call it? And uh, Frostmo, yeah, as you can see here. I'm also getting the thingy, what do you call it? I'm getting the white summit one and when I open the chest, as you can see, I got frozen items and a frozen titanium chest, I mean, uh, leggings, which is a really good frozen ch frozen legging part or piece, yeah. So frozen is also just pretty good. Now I want to go over which ones I think are probably the best modifiers to use and it has to be just blasted and frozen like those two are just the best power and defense duh those two stats are cracked when you have them on an item the what do you call it the frozen uh sorcerer set has power and defense as its base stats like the only other sets that gives that is vetricle but like vetricles gives drawback so like you can only use a limited amount of it Whereas you can just use a full sorcerer set with it. Or you can also use blasted sorcerer set. That also gives a lot of power. That gives like the most power. Probably even more than Vetricles. And you don't even need to use drawback. So like it's just crazy. Alongside you can also use you know frozen defense items. Like frozen steel set or frozen titanium set. Or even frozen uh, centurion set. Or even frozen like deluxe iron set. All of that gives way more defense than even sunken armor. Like, if you want to go full defense, like go that. You can get around 560 defense on a single item, like single chest piece now, using these modifiers. 560 defense from one item. Or you can also get 45 power from a single arc sphere. Just one arc sphere. 45 power. It's just insane. But yeah. I just think that Blasted and Frozen are just the best ones out of all of it in the update. There's probably going to be more, there's probably going to be like way more in the future. But also these two just look really, really good. Especially Blasted. I am in love with Blasted. The drip count is going to be starting soon. So use these modifiers to your advantage in the drip contest. And yeah, that's all I have to say for this. I don't know what else to say. Let's go, okay. 
Of course, just keep this is what I needed. This is what I needed. Okay. Let's just keep. Let's go. Okay, let's see what this is. So, part of my treasure can be found at a curse. Just keep it at a decent height and burning the ground. A few, few places south, west, southwest. So, that is. Place north. Down. Around here. Let's start digging. There we go. One. Okay, okay. Two. Okay, okay. One green gold. Three. Come on, give me something good. And four. Ah. Oh well. We got our curses at least, but. We didn't really get that, something that good, but we did get some leggings, which I was looking for, because I think they look awesome. That's not my ship. Ship is that way. Let's see what this looks like. So, if I go here... Oh, that looks so good. That looks so good. Oh my god, that looks so good. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm wearing that. That looks so good. Now the last one is at Shell Island, so let's go do that. There we go. Last one. Let's see what we get. Well, Shell Island, we are not supposed to get that much cool stuff, but it's still stuff at the end of the day. Okay. That. Another one. This is that, and then last one should be a gold. No, sadly. And we got that. So yeah, that's the end of this video. The uh, how do you how do I say this? Grinding for this stuff, pretty difficult. Huge amount of time needed. I'm still trying to get some stuff that I really want because I want them for like the look of my character. It looks amazing. I really want Blasted Pirate Captain. That's the thing I really want. And yeah. That as well as Blasted Iron Pauldrons. I think those will look spectacular. Like, like extremely cool. I'm not sure what to make what video I should make after this this is gonna be for the last one for this patch until I get like you know full sunken warrior and then show that off or something I don't know but yeah where's my ship so yeah leave a comment down below if you guys know what video I should make uh, I don't really know right now I'm just you know just playing the game normally not recording stuff I'm making videos <laughs> We'll see. We'll see what we can do. Also, the drip contest. I'll be making the video on it. I guess maybe tomorrow or something. I'll see what I can do. And yeah, it will begin soon. And again, if this one is paid to enter, so like you have to pay, and then it's like it's basically I can do this whenever I want without having to worry to get stuff because that means that. Everyone will have like everyone will pay and then like everyone will get their like it'll be paid It'll be self-paid basically like the whole event So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one and then I guess yes also hello Fireflight 187 and X Mr. Drag Wait Bye. Wow, they have it perfectly timed. <laughs> bye bye.